Welcome back to Europe in Detail. Today, we're taking you to a place with huge mountains, beautiful beaches, and charming towns. Yes, we're talking about the wonderful world of Montenegro. But we're not just looking at pretty views and trying tasty rakia. Get ready and make sure you're comfortable as we dig deep into the heart of Montenegro to learn about its unique way of life and fascinating stories through 42 unique facts. By the end of this journey, you'll have Montenegro's pulse, history, and spirit dancing in your veins. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 1. Montenegro is a tiny gem hidden along the Adriatic coast. Despite its compact size, it features a spectacular range of over 250 bird species. So for all you bird enthusiasts, get your binoculars ready. Number 2. Podgorica, the capital of Montenegro, has a name that literally translates to under the little hill, a humble title for a city that's home to around 30% of the country's population. 3. Montenegro might be small in size, but it boasts a massive coastline stretching over 180 miles. That's 180 miles of sun, sand, and azure Adriatic Sea. Number 4. When you think of Montenegro, think fortresses. The country is peppered with enchanting old towns, each featuring medieval fortresses that stand as timeless symbols of its rich history. Number 5. Do you know how Montenegro got its name? It translates to Black Mountain, owing to the dark mountain forests that cover the land. Number 6. Montenegrin, the official language, is quite a puzzle. It's one of the youngest languages, recognized only in 2007, and bears striking similarities to Serbian, Bosnian, and Croatian. Number 7. Get ready to hold your breath, we're diving into the Blue Cave, one of Montenegro's natural wonders. Famous for its strikingly blue water that gives an eerie glow, it's an enchanting sight that's straight out of a fantasy novel. Number 8. In Montenegro, family is the backbone of society. It's typical for multiple generations to live together in one house. Also, many families have a special saint that they honor. When the day of that saint comes around, they often throw big, joyous celebrations. Number 9. Montenegro is home to the Tara River Canyon, Europe's deepest and the world's second deepest canyon. If you're up for an adrenaline rush, it's a hot spot for whitewater rafting. Number 10. Montenegro's population stands at around 626,000, almost equivalent to a small city in many other countries. Yet, it's a mosaic of diverse ethnic groups, coexisting harmoniously. Number 11. Montenegro is an ecological state, meaning that the preservation of natural resources and biodiversity is a constitutional obligation. It was the world's first proclaimed green state in 1991. Number 12. Here's a spicy one. Montenegrin cuisine is a delightful mishmash of influences from Italian, Turkish, and Hungarian culinary traditions. Make sure you don't miss the Nejuski Stek, a local pork dish that is a meat lover's dream. Number 13. Brace yourself for abundant sunshine in Montenegro. The country enjoys a Mediterranean climate along the coast, boasting around 240 sunny days per year. Number 14. If you're an architecture buff, Perest in the Bay of Kotor is a must-visit. With its Venetian-style buildings and charming streets, it's a place where time seemingly stands still. Number 15. A toast in Montenegro often goes with a shot of rakia, a traditional fruit brandy. It's fiery, flavorful, and a true taste of Montenegrin hospitality. Number 16. The Montenegrin coffee culture is something to experience. Their version of Turkish coffee is usually enjoyed in long, leisurely sips with friends or family, making it an essential part of social life. Number 17. The people of Montenegro have a unique Christmas tradition, the Badniak ceremony. It involves chopping a young oak tree, bringing it into the house on Christmas Eve, and burning it log by log throughout the evening. Number 18. Montenegro grooves to the beat of democracy. Here, citizens directly elect their government, thereby making their voices heard in the democratic process. So when we say people power, Montenegro's parliamentary republic truly takes it to heart. Number 19. Montenegro has one of the highest percentages of forested land in Europe, which makes it an ideal destination for hikers and nature lovers. Number 20. Montenegro switched to the euro in 2002. However, it did so unilaterally without a formal agreement with the European Central Bank. The country continues to use the euro without being part of the eurozone. Number 21. Since regaining its independence in 2006, Montenegro has been steadily progressing towards integration into the European Union, becoming a candidate for membership in 2010. Number 22. Montenegro, although small, 
is a multi-religious society. The majority of Montenegrins are Orthodox Christians, but there are significant communities of Muslims and Catholics as well. Number 23. Time for some royal trivia. Did you know that Montenegro had its very own king and queen? King Nicola I ruled Montenegro for over 50 years, and his house in Sentinji is now a museum you can visit. Number 24. Get ready to be wowed by the charm of Kotor, a true jewel of Montenegro. Nestled in one of the world's most beautiful bays, this town just isn't pretty to look at. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, boasting a stunning blend of architectural beauty and an incredibly well-preserved medieval old town. Number 25. Love cats? You'll feel right at home in the old town of Kotor. It's said that the town has more cats per square foot than anywhere else. They're considered good luck, so don't forget to pet one or two when you visit. Number 26. Have you ever heard of an inverted house? Montenegro is home to one. The upside-down house in Podgorica is a unique attraction where everything, from furniture to everyday items, is upside down. Number 27. The Ostrog Monetary, a stunning structure carved into a cliff, is a significant pilgrimage site. Each year, it draws a large number of Orthodox Christians and followers of other religions due to its reputation for miraculous powers. Number 28. Here's one for the night owls. Montenegro hosts the Sea Dance Festival, a vibrant music festival on the beach that attracts partygoers from all over the world. Dance the night away under the stars with your feet in the sand. Number 29. Montenegrins have a tradition known as Slava. A family's Slava is the day of the patron saint of that family, and it's celebrated with a feast that often includes friends, neighbors, and even strangers. Number 30. Despite its small size, Montenegro houses one of the oldest olive trees in the world. The Stara Maslina, near the town of Bar, is estimated to be over 2,000 years old. This ancient tree is a testament to the country's rich natural heritage. Number 31. The Niego's Mausoleum at the top of Mount Lovin is the highest mausoleum in the world. It's dedicated to Petar II Petrovich Niegos, a beloved Montenegrin poet and bishop. Number 32. Montenegro uses a unique three-color flag. The current design, adopted in 2004, features horizontal stripes in the pan-Slavic colors of red, blue, and white, with the country's coat of arms in the center. Number 33. Montenegro has a rich folklore tradition. Traditional dances like Oro and Kolo and vibrant costumes tell the colorful tales of its cultural heritage. Number 34. The country is home to five UNESCO-protected sites, the Natural and Cultural Historical Region of Kotor, Dermator National Park, Stechi Medieval Tombstone Graveyards, and two sites that are part of the Venetian Works of Defense. Number 35. In Montenegro, the tradition of hospitality is sacred. Visitors are often treated like family members and are welcomed with open arms, heartwarming smiles, and generous offerings. Number 36. Montenegro's Lake Skadar is the largest lake in southern Europe. It's a wildlife paradise, hosting a wide range of bird species, making it a fantastic destination for nature enthusiasts. Number 37. Montenegro is an outdoor paradise. Whether you're into hiking, mountain biking, whitewater rafting, or even skiing in winter, this tiny country has something for every adventure enthusiast. Number 38. Military service is not mandatory in Montenegro. The country abolished conscription in 2006, moving towards a fully professional military system. Number 39. Did you know that Montenegro has one of the last rainforests in Europe? Biogradska Gora National Park houses 86 species of trees and 104 species of birds. Walk amidst ancient trees and immerse yourself in the untouched beauty of nature. Number 40. Ever heard of a floating church? Montenegro has one. The Our Lady of the Rocks Church, found on an artificial island in the Bay of Kotor, is a marvel to behold. Legend has it, it was built by sailors dropping rocks into the sea after each successful voyage. Talk about a rock-solid tradition. Number 41. How about a city within walls? Meet Budva, one of the oldest towns on the Adriatic coast, complete with medieval walls and sandy beaches. It's truly a cocktail of history, culture, and beach life. Number 42. Last but not least, known as the Mediterranean's only fjord, the Bay of Kotor is undoubtedly one of Montenegro's crowning glories. 
with breathtaking views and ancient towns to explore. And there you have it, 42 unique facts that capture the essence of Montenegro, its people, and its unique place in the world. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you give us a like, and please, share your views and opinions with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on the latest adventures on Europe in detail. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.